Good morning, everyone. This is Linda. I guess it's about um, 8.30. It's about 8.30 in the morning. Yeah, I wanted to just walk around my garden with you guys for a second. All right? I hope you all are having a beautiful morning. That is the eggplant there. Well, it looks like eggplant coming on. It's getting there. It's getting there. Yeah. But the plants are really healthy and big. And yeah, and I'm sitting over here in all this goodness that God gave me. Amen. But uh, I'm just loving it. Uh, but uh, it's nice and cool. I'm sitting under uh, my weeping willow tree. Yeah. And uh, I wanted to share with you all that I purchased my garlic. Alright guys, here it is here. So, this is the garlic that I purchased and this is um, Italian garlic. This is some Italian garlic, yeah. Now, this is some garlic that I bought from Mr. George. And, um, yeah, it's really, really nice. I love this garlic. As a matter of fact, I have one or two that I have in the house that I will be cooking with. <laughs> it's so wonderful. I love it because it's, um, it's strong. And I love uh, a strong garlic. You know, sometimes you could get some garlic that when you when you cutting it up to put it in your food, you have to put more garlic because it's just not garlicky. You know, yeah. If if that if that is a word, garlicky. But you all know what I'm saying. But this garlic is very very garlicky, and I love Italian garlic. So I'm going to. Uh, plant this, uh, but I'm not going to plant them yet. I'm going to plant them at the end of August. Yeah. And I'm going to share with you where, uh, I'm going to plant it in a container this time. Yeah, we're going to do a container. I would like to give you all an update on two of my trees. So, of course, this is the My Lemon Tree. And she's doing well this morning. Yeah, um, I'm very excited um, about uh, all the blooms that I see. As a matter of fact, this is the only um, uh, stem that she have um, flowers coming from. But I'm okay with that, y'all. I'm okay with that. So also I want to share um, another tree in my yard. Yeah. And that is the Moringa Oliveira. So I was up one early one morning and this is what I captured. And she is doing so well. Um, uh, I wanted to get a shot of um, the base of her, but it was just too dark. But as you can see, she's standing tall and she's looking well. I've been eating a lot of her leaves, so she tastes good, <laughs> but she's doing good. I want to thank you all for wishing her well. Hey, check that out, y'all. Hmm. Yeah, it's this uh, Jamaican sorrow. The sun is bright here. It's about, it's early. It's early in the morning. But look at that. Uh, yeah, you can see that. <laughs> it's weird. But that's what they're doing this morning. So this is where my, um, uh, my sunflowers was. So I do have some kind of melon growing in here. So here's the leaves to the melon right here. But I don't know where she is. I did see 
some fruit and we can go on the other side. Okay. But I'm just waiting for her to show who she is. Because, oh, not you. <laughs> <laughs> it's over there too so we'll get to see who she is hopefully we'll get to see who she is yeah okay here we go right here so there right here is a fruit so I don't know what kind of fruit it is but let me see if I can get you Really good. Okay, there it is. Looks like a melon. Could be. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we'll see. Alright. Of course, the watermelon radish. And carrots. And a stink bug, y'all. You see him? Yeah. Unfortunate, but so there was a question on a live about radishes and its leaves. Mm -hmm. So I want to thank you all that came out to the live on yesterday. It was so fun. I always enjoy just hanging out, just hanging out. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm trying not to knock down something. But here I have more radishes, you all. So this is a different, many different varieties of radishes and other goodies too. But one question in the live says, can I eat the leaves of my radishes? Well, I want you to know the entire plant is edible. Yes, everything. Now, what I find is, is that the leaves of the, uh, of the radish, if they are older leaves, it is not good for a salad. They can be a little chewy if, you know, if it's older. But if you choose some young leaves, look at that, something been eating it. You see that? <laughs> but if you choose a young, young leaves, then it would be great for salads. But if they're older, just treat them and cook them like any other green. Just cook them like any other green. And y'all know <laughs> that means it's great for stir fry too. Yeah, I'll throw it on a pizza in a second. <laughs> it's delicious, yeah. And my greens are looking good. This is, uh, 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 I think this is a, the Red Giants, yeah. That's them. The Red Giants. They're looking really good. Everybody is doing well this morning. I haven't given anybody water <clears throat> yet this morning. These are some new babies, and they're doing real good. Everybody, everybody is looking amazing this morning. Yeah. But there is one, I guess it's a vegetable, that I want to share with you. So these seedlings are rhubarb. Now, this is my first season growing rhubarb. I've seen many of my friends growing them. and They are beautiful and lush. But there are some things you need to know about rhubarb before you grow them. Is the leaves on the rhubarb is poisonous. Yes, their leaves and roots are poisonous. And the only thing we want from these uh, these plants is the stems that looks like a red celery. And um, yeah, they can grow under any condition. They don't need, you know, great compost. Or, yeah, they are very hardy, heat tolerant. They can stand the cold weather. Um, rhubarb, it seems like a beautiful vegetable to grow and I'm looking forward to even making a strawberry rhubarb pie yeah <laughs> so I've cleaned this shady part of my garden yeah this is it was really wild 
But I tamed that baby down, y'all. I tamed her down. And today, guys, I want to drop some peas. I want to drop some peas over here in the shade. So this is in the shade part of the garden. Under the tree, we going to drop some peas here this morning. Yay. All right, guys, let me get some soil. Get this soil all together around this little trellis. And I'm going to share with you how I'm going to drop these peas right here right here and I'm gonna drop some flower seeds I'm gonna drop this is uh, I think this one is nasturtium that I harvest from the garden let's see yep it's nasturtium so she can that so you can see also nasturtiums that's what that is. So I harvest these nasturtiums from my, my nasturtiums. Yeah. And I'm going to plant some of these guys right here. I have some growing, but we're going to plant more. And I'm going to put this all around the, the perimeter, the, the rim of this little bed that I'm getting together. And these guys. So listen... I never get enough of having green onions and, you know, I love the stuff and I cook with it in my, uh, in my meals every day, every day I cook. I gotta have some green onions, garlic, celery, um, bell peppers. Oh yeah, it's just the flavors. It's just the flavors. <laughs> but anyway, guys, so let me get some soil together and get it all prepped around this little bed. And then we're going to drop those seeds. We're going to drop them together, y'all. I'm going to put all the flowers on this side of that, that stick right there. So the flower is going to go over there. And I'm going to put one or two flowers with them. All right? some marigolds wait a minute here wait a minute <laughs> so maybe i'll put these with the uh the peas and that's some morning glory but i'm looking for marigolds that's what i'm looking for so here we go we're gonna drop some of these zenas and i need marigolds that's what i'm looking for there we go we're gonna drop these Peas, flowers, and green onions. Aha! There we go. All right. Maybe I drop a herb or two. Yeah. Maybe like a rosemary or something. But I'll be back. All right, guys. So I'm going to try to get these peas in before the rain comes because... Yeah, it's getting dark in the shade, y'all. It's getting dark in the shade. So, I'm dropping these peas and I'm putting them, like, right under this little trellis. So, you know, when they come up, they're going to grab this little trellis and go on up there. And this is the shady part of the garden. So, I'm going to put a good bit of them because I want some peas. Now, listen, guys, have you all ever purchased some peas? Rather, they're mostly frozen, you know, it's frozen peas, and you bite into it, and they are hard and dry. Oh, man, that's such a disappointment. You know, <laughs> it's like all your taste buds, like, drop. It's like, oh, man, what is that? <laughs> Well, that's what happened to me last night when I had dinner. So what I did was uh, you know, I just cooked it more. But, yeah, it's like cooking all of the nutrients out of the peas, trying to get the peas, um, you know, succulent or tolerable for your palate. But, yeah, so that is the thing that made me want to get up this morning and drop some peas, y'all. 
So I'm gonna drop some of these on the other side. So let's go on the other side of this little trellis here. All right. I tell y'all what is. I don't have to tell y'all it's humid out here. <laughs> it's dark, but it's very, very humid. You know, that's that's my weather. That's my weather, y'all. <laughs> and she is giving it to me. <laughs> So, I'm just going to try to get them all in before. Now, in this soil here, I just have some of that soil I have in that, in that bag. And I put some, um, some uh, black cow. I put some black cow in here. Yeah. That's what I have in here. Oh, boy. It's been a very, very beautiful morning. So what I'm going to do is, um, let me move some of these. When, I, when I'm done, oh, Charlie's got my shirt. <laughs> when I'm done with this, I'm going to bring you guys with me inside and I'm going to share boy, this is rough here. <laughs> I'm going to share my lunch with you all, okay? Uh, it's nothing huge. Uh, I wanted something light and, and good for my body. I find when I eat, um, you know, light foods like a lot of veggies and stuff, it just... Oh, just tell us about my shirt. <laughs> All right. It just makes me, um, it just makes me feel good. You know, it just makes my body feel good. So I try to eat a lot of veggies. And many times uh, I don't eat, I don't eat a lot of meat. Um... And of course, the meat I eat is chicken, fish, shrimp, and turkey. <laughs> that's that's my meats. So that's all I buy. All right, let's get some. Um, let's get some uh, some onions. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna drop some. Let me put a couple of seeds here. This. Wait one second. So, okay, I'm going to plant. Um, this is a Scarlet O'Hara Morning Glory. I'm just going to plant just, just a couple of seeds. All right. Just a couple of seeds in here. Red Scarlet O'Hara. Yeah. Then I'm going to plant a couple of the blue ones and they're called Heavenly Blue. Hey now. Hey now. And we're going to plant a couple of So that's. That's them right there. And that's what? Five. Yeah. So we're going to plant that right in there with them and have them come up together. It should look really, really nice. Okay. So I, I have some of the bigger, I have some of the bigger peas back over there. Oh, man. <laughs> oh well. We will not sweat it, y'all. We will not sweat it. So I'm gonna plant this bulb. And I'm gonna plant at least ten of these. Two, four, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. There we go. Ten of those. Then I'm going to drop 
just the three of the nasturtiums. And we're going to put the nasturtiums over here. But <clears throat> let's get these, um, let's get the onions in. So I'm really, I didn't want to like, um, feed them a lot of like the black cow or anything because they, they will be fine. They will be fine. Yeah. So. So we want the root going down. It's just like that. Here. Some of these really have to look because you can barely see the roots. It looks like um, it looks like the top, you know. And that's 10. So now <clears throat> I'm going to mess up this, this ball here. And I'm hoping it's 10. And if it's not, whatever it is, we're going we gonna to drop it in there. <sighs> All right. So the live was very nice. I always enjoy myself so much. And uh, after the live is over, um, and it does uh, come up, I really go back and I enjoy it. I enjoy it a lot. Yeah. So if you watch this video to the end, <laughs> you will see some of the crazy things that I do when I am bored. <laughs> when I'm bored, yeah, y'all. I do some crazy stuff. So, there's a little short video. I think it's about 16 seconds or so. Something like that. It's at the end of this video. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just... It was, uh, it started raining, so I couldn't get in my garden. And usually, I play in my makeup at that time, but found something else a little bit different to do yeah <laughs> it was fun I had fun doing it so that's all that matters right have fun and that I did all right they're all planted peas all planted I just need to clean up a little bit and we're done we're done, 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 y'all. Done, done. <laughs> All right, guys. Listen, I'm here at one of my neighbor's house, and so she invited me to come and see some of her rare plants. So her name is Miss Brenda. Don't want to show herself, but she'll say hello. Hello. All right. Her name is Miss Brenda. Okay. All right, Miss Brenda. What are we looking at? When I was a child, they called these Jesus in the Cradle. Jesus in the cradle. Uh huh. Okay. Now they bloom overnight. They mm -hmm. they start opening up around eight o'clock at night, and around three o'clock in the morning they fully bloom, but they start closing back up around four five o'clock in the morning. Okay. okay. And I've started me another one because this one is so old. Yeah. Now this is the African starfish. I, I really wish it was in bloom. Oh, I see Not yet. that. It op this opens up. Oh, okay. And it's a big star. What? Oh, an yeah. African starfish. Fish. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Yeah. That that looks so interesting right there. Okay. I wish it was blooming. I see a see. lot of them is coming, mm -hmm. and a lot of them have been here already. Yes. 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 I, I forgot to tell you that the real name of these are Night Blooming Sirius. Night Blooming Sirius. Uh-huh. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. 
Let's see, can I? I, I have pictures of it. I'm going to let you see. Okay, okay. So that's the way they look. That's how they start off. That's how they start off. So okay. they are about to bloom. Yeah, it'll be about maybe another week before they bloom. Yeah. But they are gorgeous. Yes, indeed. I see you propagated more. Yeah, yeah, because this one is getting really old and strong. And you don't want to lose the whole thing. No. I got you. If this one died, I got some more. I started. Good, good. Now, this is the crown of thorn. The crown of thorn. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. She's gorgeous. Is this is this sticky? Oh yes, indeed. Okay, yeah. Yes, I can see it looks you have sticky. You to work with gloves on. Okay, okay. And I see there's right here. Do you propagate this one? I started some pieces because something happened and, and something fell over. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. Now these, if you want, mm -hmm. you could have. Some of these. Okay, thank you, Miss Brenda. You're welcome. Yeah. yeah. I'm not going to put it piece. back up there right now. Yeah. Uh, now, I, I have one of these. Spatch file. Yeah. Call it the Peace, Peace Lily. Peace Lily. Mm -hmm. Right, right, right. Now, right. This is mm -hmm. a okay. pencil cactus. A pencil cactus. Yes. And these are the only leaves that it have very tiny leaves. Okay, and and that's that's the biggest they're gonna get. Uh huh. Oh wow, the pencil cactus. Yeah, and I I have a couple of those that I uh, started off. Mm hmm. Mine got so big. Mm hmm. It was like I just couldn't handle it anymore with the weather. Yeah. Bringing it back and forth For, yeah. in, in the winter or when we having a hurricane. Yeah. I couldn't. I just couldn't do it anymore. So. Yeah. I started some baby ones. Yeah. Now this is also a spatulum, as you can see. The yeah, bloom. but but it's variegated. Variegated, right? Mm -hmm. I love those leaves variegated mm -hmm. like that. That's beautiful. Now I had one of these long time ago, and it was huge. It was in the brown, and she, uh, I was in an apartment at that mm -hmm. time, and mm -hmm. I left her there. But she was huge. It's beautiful. Well, I air layered this. From the mother plant over on this side. All right, Miss Brenda Airland. Uh -huh. <laughs> and that's another one I air layered from the same mother plant. Oh, this one right here? Uh huh. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. This one right here. All right. Yeah. Oh, that is so cool. I, I just I just did my first air laying. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It it came out successful so far. Right. I mean, I just found out this year. I've had this for many years. Mm -hmm. I found out this year the name of it. Okay. Chinese evergreen. Chinese evergreen. Uh huh. And it flowers. Yeah. So I have these. You have yeah, aloe veras. Oh yeah, I have. Matter of fact, I have the same variety. Okay. I have two two varieties, I I, and started, I have this one too. I started the babies. Mm -hmm. I had a lot of small plants. I started uh, to sell for my church. Yeah, this is it here. I, I I have these. Yeah. And when the pandemic came about, They're beautiful. We're not in church. Right. I said I can't keep taking care of all these little bitty plants, so mm -hmm. I went to. Just putting, putting them in, in pot. big pots. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now this, I have one like this. And, you know, I put it in the garden. Okay. She been out there over a year. Oh, okay. But don't let the freeze get to it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she, she in the ground. Yeah, my granddaughter was mm -hmm. was uh, talking about the plants. She said, "You know where all of these plants came from?" I yes, said, "Yes, yes." When all right, now who is this, Miss Brenda? This is a dracaena. Dracaena. Uh huh. All right. And it's full like that because I propagated and put them all in the same pot, as you can see. Yeah. You see all the different stalks? I do, I do, I do, I see. Yeah, and my sister say, I want mine full like that. Yeah. I say, it takes a while to get it like that. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. And she has no patience at all. Well, you can't, you know, 
Mm-hmm. Plants, you have to have patience. Mm-hmm. You have to have you. patience. I, I love, and you. you know, I always admired your plants passing by. Mm-hmm. But you. there is one that I do love. Which one? I'm going to show you, right? I told you I had to make me another trellis. Yes, you did. I made my own trellis. I, I can't afford to of course. spend $40, 50 for a trellis. Exactly. You mm-hmm. did good, baby. Yes, I put it on my Oh, I trellis. love this. I love this plant, Miss Miss Brenda. This is gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. Oh. Now, this is my- now, what is her name? Who is this? Okay. Mandevilla. That's right. We did talk about that. Mm-hmm. The Mandevilla. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I would always forget the name of some of them, so I said, okay, I'm yeah. like this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And this is gorgeous. This plant right here. Just stuck them in there. Oh, <laughs> boy. Oh, boy. Yeah. This they call it. The devil's backbone. The but devil's they have backbone. tiny flowers like a bird of paradise. Okay. So when I was in school for horticulture, it was uh, called the false bird of paradise. The false bird of paradise. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because the little red flowers look just like a bird in flight. Yeah. And so yeah. now what's the name of it? You say false bird of paradise. A false bird of paradise. Or devil backbone. Backbone. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> you know, this, this came from my neighbor down two houses over. Uh, okay. When her dad died. Yeah. It was dying and she brought it to me. She said, Miss Brenda, mm-hmm. if you can keep it living i want you to keep it because i'm not good with plants yeah Yeah. so this is miss brenda's backyard she have a loquat tree over there japonica and she have okra growing right there i see this okra <laughs> and it, at the bottom of the okra uh-huh. to your right, those are sweet potatoes. I just harvest sweet potatoes. They come back every year. If you leave a tiny piece in the ground, it, it's gonna. Yeah, grow. and I see you got muscadine. Uh huh. Oh uh-huh. boy! Look at all the grapes. Look at all the grapes here. All the muscadine, huh? Yes, you do. What do what do you do? How do you preserve them, Miss Brenda? Uh, How do you preserve them? I don't. This, this is the first year that they uh, bear like that. Last year, muscadine. Bear. Ooh. Ah. I want to make me some muscadine uh, mm. wine. Mm. <laughs> It's gone. Oh, you eat them now? Yeah. <laughs> you got your salt on them. Oh. Yeah, I had a nice gold one. Oh, okay. I don't like the skin on none of them, but right. I like the gold ones. And look, they have some nice gold ones in here. And they are nice and soft, Miss Brenda. Can he bring us some mustard on? Big bag of mustard on. Yeah. And my sister that lived in Atlanta, she saw the mustard down. Mm, I could go get another one, Miss Brenda? Yeah, go ahead, baby. I'm listening to you, though. Go ahead. And she brought me a piece of a plant. Mm, oh, it's a dog. Mm-hmm. He all right? Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. She brought you a piece of, of the, the vine? Mm-hmm. All right, guys, so this is my lunch for today. Yeah, that, that's a Coca-Cola, y'all. Mm-hmm. Straight up. <laughs> but anyway, this is my salad. So I have, uh, also I have just a flatbread. And um, I put some um, moringa leaves, tomatoes, um, of course, three types of cheese, 
that Mexican blend of cheese. Yeah. And uh, that's it. Bell peppers is on here too. Bell peppers. Yeah. So that's my lunch, guys. All right. You all have a beautiful day. Have a wonderful day. Lady, y'all.